Hello my friends and welcome back. It's episode 6. It feels slightly cooler today. Uh, or I should say it feels slightly cooler now. Um, let's uh... Cold hard cash or parts. The parts would have to be extremely valuable, but I do need parts. Let's go with parts, what the hell. I could just buy medium lasers with cold hard cash, to be fair, but... Tanks. There was a tip there that tanks are terrifying. <clears throat> but they go down easy. And it, the problem with tanks is not just that they're easy to kill, it's that their accuracy is terrible. Maybe if you uh, encountered a tank with high accuracy. It's funny actually because, you know, I designed an extra vehicle in BTR actually based on the lore. A demol an AC2 demolisher with really accurate weapons. So the damage output is uh, not enormous. It's like eight AC2s, I think is the original design from the, from the handbook. So that's only 200 damage, which is not a huge amount of damage, but man, when, when those shots connect with you turn after turn, you do start to sweat a bit. Command interface initiated. Look at this guy. Who's my ally today? This just looks like my lance. I thought that was a, uh, you know, one of those Merc. Merc missions. Moving, Commander. Rolling. Mission confirmed. Roger that. Roger that, Lance Leader. Transferring now. Moving, Commander. Roger. One of the problems of running a lance that's uh, all different speeds. It's trying to keep it cohesive is difficult. On my way. Moving out. Roger. Moving, Commander. Location confirmed. take this high ground and I figure that when I jump over the high ground it's all gonna kick off moving commander coordinates received moving to position copy that moving to position moving commander there's no garrison. Acknowledge. On my way. Confirmed. Alright, now we gotta figure out where they are. 
but I do have a great high ground position on the ridge line here, which I can abuse for any direction. Like if they appear back here, it's I can just go on the opposite side. Standing by. Heading out. Let's let's go up this way. Moving, Commander. I'll just run the locust back. Heading out. Onward. Take the highest high point with the best terrain. Okay. Depot occupied. Where are they? Receiving you. Ordnance received. Movement finished. I'm behind the ridge line here, so if they're the other side of the map, then uh, they won't have a shot. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Oh. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Spawn protection removed? What are you on about? They've all got eight evasion. Oh, this is going to be ugly. Chameleon, plenty of short range weapons, I consider that to be pretty dangerous. A crab with one of its large lasers missing, let's say that that's moderately dangerous. Two pulses and an ER PPC, okay that's very dangerous and that's also quite a lot of firepower and a hunchback. Obviously, I can't damage them because they are. Uh, Understood. Moving back. They've got spawn protection. Uh, I should have kept my units moving. Oh well, whatever. I'm ready. Calling that. i hide behind the cliff until I have an opportunity to. Uh, ready, Commander. To attack. All right, one of them gets to have a go, and then I get to hide behind the rocks. It's the Clint. Ow! At least it hit the Vindicator, which is my toughest mech. The leg, it's not so bad. He's a high priority target in that he has very dangerous weapons and not much health. Engaging jump jets. Aye, aye. Okay. That's it, I've LOS blocked them. They won't be doing anything this turn. Stand and bye. Get nothing. All right. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. Weird that this is showing a red line, but I clearly have a rear strike here. Firing all weapons. Damn. 
missed the all important laser. Barely did anything. Good to go. Yes, Commander. I'll race ya. Primitive. Nice. Oh, his gyro's destroyed. Take that. That's going to make life very interesting for him. One evasion token, no evasion tokens. Okay, no Commander. need to. Uh... No shooting, just running. No need to utilize the um, sensor lock. Firing. <sighs> okay. That hit something good. That's a very dangerous weapon off the board. Ready, Commander. On the wings of angels. Okay, where are we going? It's a hunchback. Of course, its ass is massively undefended. Ooh, it's a hit. Oh, it's rear CT. Oh, that's where the SRM ammo is. Oh, a few machine gun shots in there will... Uh, really brighten his day. I think since the chameleon's front is already seriously damaged, I'll go with attacking that with these two. Since they're not fast enough to get behind anybody. Let's go, Edge Lord Power. All weapons committed. I just, you know, I feel like the idea of a battle lord is kind of silly, but <laughs> it's fun. Ready for orders. These mediums are pretty easy to hit. Engaging target. Nice. Wow, three of them are stressed. The stress levels are about to increase a lot. What do you need? What's funny is that you can't make your mech do a loop, you know? Like run down and around to maximize the uh, evasion. I guess that would be quite nice if you could set waypoints. Even jumping's not really getting me the pips. On my way. Come on. All weapons are go. Oh, I didn't get it. Couple of machine gun rounds in the back. Waiting for orders. Five evasions, probably like the minimum I want. Roger that. Ugh. Solid connection on that. Oh, one. he's gone. He must have been. He must have been sweating the. Uh, sweating the fact that his rear core was massively opened and had hardly any HP left. I'm here.
can put Phantom on here to actually sort of sit still and still get the hit. I'm walking here. Roger that. Ooh, two hits. Oh, we can salvage that. Oh. You would never, you would never get away with this in BTR. Although the Hunchback still has weak rear armor because it's part of the book lore, we did want to stick with the book lore. Um, it's still about 40 points, so it wouldn't go down so easily. These were some really dangerous enemies, but because they're because the rear quadrants were so thin, it was just so easy to devastate them. You know, it's a difference between 720 armor and all these sections to hit. Uh, I think the 720 actually includes the rear armor, so let's calculate that first. 50, 67, 85. So it's a difference between 85 armor and like 645 or something, 635. Ready, Commander. If I can break his leg, that would... greatly reduce his ability to... Uh, do anything. A side strike like this might do it. Moving, Commander. Take this. The crab is not that dangerous because it's one of its main weapons is offline. Oh, he's panicking! Let's make that, uh. Let's enhance his panic. Forget enhancing his calm. Oh, I got it! Got his leg. He might eject now. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. No, I didn't get his leg. I actually blew his arm off. Yes, Commander. I thought, because it was so easy, it came off so easily that it was the leg that was damaged, but it was not the leg that was damaged. Side shot. Confirmed. What an absolute ganking this was. Copy that. This is a real show of. Uh, LOS control. That hit. And, uh, initiative based double turn. Oh! Pilots died. There was just too much going on in his life. Now a crab with one weapon missing is gonna have to do something against six mechs. Show me your war face. Show me your war face. Copy that. Right, let's gank him. Uh, he's got two evasion pips I could strip. Yes, Commander. And... Yeah, I think I'll strip his evasion because I can't. On my way, double time. He's got his ass pressed against the wall like in a multiplayer game, so. I'll just, uh. Sensors locked on. I'll sensor lock those off and then I'll just lay into his ass. All weapons committed. No need to maneuver. Yeah. We're just gonna blast him with maximum accuracy. Locked on. Give him everything you've got. Was that his other large laser? No, it was the same one. Ready, Commander. It's just now it's extra deactivated. <laughs> take this. It first. I think he said take this, but anyway. Oh, life is getting very stressful. 
Ready for orders. Like, how much more damage this mech is enduring because I'm shooting the front of it, as opposed to Commander. sandpapering the rear sector. Move into position. You know, imagine if this was my first turn. All those other mechs would still be alive. All weapons, fire. Shooting at me. Okay, let's see what he does. Okay, don't mind that at all. Let's go. Holding for tactical advantage. Show me a wall face. Detected. Waiting for orders. Confirm. Alright. Acknowledged. That's gotta be the end. Oh, not quite. Solid connection on that one. And he is panicking. Very close. Receiving you. Another solid hit in the leg and he's finished. Putting my weight into it. You can do it, put your back into it. wondered if this mission is mistriggered and that there was the the extraction team was supposed to arrive before the enemies did or that there were supposed to be more enemies and you were supposed to hold out or something because of just the way he interacts with you like this mission successful maybe it was supposed to be some kind of timed mission completely unscathed. All those ejections and we basically got no parts out of that mission. We didn't even get a single piece of the... oh there it is. It's just not at the top. I'm like that's weird we didn't even get a single piece of the hunchback even though he ejected a basically a clean mech. I mean, not a clean mech, because he had like 20 rear torso HP left, but you know what I mean. Not the medium lasers have not been bundled together. I'm going to take the Hunchback. The Hunchback's a great mech. Let's see what else we get. Nice, three pieces of it. A Mark 300 engine. That'll be good.
does mean we have to get our hands on another uh, on another hunchback piece to finish the job. I'm here. Ready, Commander. Mech warrior training complete. All right. Welcome, Commander. Training complete. Aye, aye. Standing by. Training confirmed. Bring up the other stats layer. Receiving you. Yeah. Just focus on Waiting that gunnery. Mech warrior training. I'll try complete. and bring the stats that are uh, below uh, four, up to four as well, as soon as I can. Go back. What do you need? Orders? Wow. You can plot waypoints. Huh. As actual skill. Superior piloting skill lets you use waypoint movement to plot a perfect path during a sprint as well as ignore, man ignore landmines. That is super sweet. Let's grab that plus one health. Training confirmed, Commander. Three injuries is always like hair yep. raising me for you. Orders. Commander, ready for orders. Mech warrior training complete. Commander. Training complete. That guy's gut sucks. Standing by. Ready, Commander. Welcome, Commander. Okay. Juggernaut is back. Also grants one extra attack using physical weapons such as hatches, maces, and swords. Wow. Wow, guts and piloting together would make for some truly terrifying light mech brawlers. I mean, light mech brawlers were really scary in the base game. Can you imagine having one 
that can hit you with a melee weapon repeatedly and can plot perfect sprint routes. Although I'm not sure that would probably I'm not sure that would allow you to do that during an actual um, melee attack, but still. It's certainly useful for always having your maximum evasion. It's a hard decision to actually decide what to go for. Actually, let's go with sure movement. It's more reliable. One evasion that you have all the time is potentially more valuable than two evasion that you can only summon occasionally. Aye aye. Welcome, Commander. Ready, get it on. Still, I mean, it's it was a difficult-ish decision to make, so that's interesting in itself. Right, some final tidy up. None of my mechs are damaged, so that's good. We've already looked through the store and it's not that interesting. I bet the black market is interesting, but... Let's just get rid of this trash tanks. Sorry to anyone who's a fan of those, but they're good as plot devices, but they're not good as combat vehicles. Maybe an LRM carrier or an SRM carrier or a PPC carrier or a demolisher or something would be a good vehicle to take on a mission, but transports and scout vehicles are just not worth it. Savannah Masters are worth it as a throwaway scout vehicle, but you just have to be prepared to lose whoever's driving it because, I mean, it's a five ton target, basically. <laughs> Moves super fast, though. <clears throat> Good in multiplayer mech commander games. Right, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.